In this video, I will show you how to use the Top Charts Blender, the Game Search, and Icon and Image Search in order to have a better understanding before you start brainstorming with the Game Ideator. You could start by going to the Top Charts Blender to check the games that are on the Top Charts. You can choose the store that you would like to search for. Let's say we go for Google Play. And you can choose the market that you're aiming for. In this case, we'll choose the United Kingdom. Also, if there's a specific genre that you would like to search for, you can choose it. Otherwise, you can go for overall. Now you can choose a game idea and you will know whether it's in trend or not. You will have some information about it, which could be helpful to aid you whether you want to add it to the game ideator and ideate based on this game concept or not. You can also mix and match multiple game concepts from the top charts in order to have a better game idea or an innovative one that is already trending. As you can see in the overview, you will have screenshots about the game. You could also go for game search in case there's a specific game that you have in mind and you would like to have information about the game idea. Let's say Candy Crush, and here you go. This is Candy Crush on the App Store. You search for it, and it should show you some information about the game idea in the market. As you can see here, the trends, the genre, the country. You can also choose other countries and how it's performing in terms of trends. The market and the current trunk are pretty good. Also, you can go for icon and image search in case you have some idea in mind, but it's related to a game idea in the market and you can pick some screenshots from there. Or you could use it to get some inspiration about the game icon that you would like to design or even generate using Ludo.ai. You can start with screenshots, and we could go for Stumble Guys, for example. We can click Search. As you can see here, there are plenty of images about Stumble Guys that could be a source of inspiration for the game idea that you're working on. There are also options for every image in which you could generate similar images to use in your game concepts and add them as a mood board. Or you could search for similar images if something caught your attention and you kind of want to dig deeper into it. As you can see here, it displayed some options that are interesting. And that's pretty much it on how you can research before you can start reading the market and checking the trends. And then you can start by ideating. It also depends on which approach you would like to go for in order to ideate whether you want to go for a data-driven game idea or a solely inspired game idea from other products. Thank you.